Taylor's theorem states that for any infinitely differentiable function f, f of x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of the nth derivative of f evaluated at a divided by n factorial multiplied by x minus a to the n. We will begin proving this with the fundamental theorem of calculus, which states that the integral from a to x of f prime of t dt equals f of x minus f of a. Some algebra shows that f of x equals f of a plus the integral from a to x of f prime of t dt. If we let u equal f prime of t and dv equal dt, we can use integration by parts to show that f of x is equal to f of a plus t times f prime of t minus the integral from a to x of t times f2 prime dt. Keep in mind that we must evaluate the second term from a to x. After some algebra, we arrive to the following. f of x equals f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a plus the integral from a to x of x minus t times f2 prime of t dt. Another application of the fundamental theorem of calculus and integration by parts brings us to the following result. f of x equals f of a plus f prime evaluated at a divided by 1 factorial times x minus a to the first plus f2 prime of a divided by 2 factorial times x minus a squared plus the integral from a to x of f3 prime of t times x minus t squared multiplied by one half dt. Multiple iterations of this process yield that f of x equals the sum from m equals 0 to n of the mth derivative of f evaluated at a times 1 over m factorial times x minus a to the mth power plus the integral from a to x of the n plus first derivative of f evaluated at t times 1 over n factorial times x minus t to the n dt. The final step is to use induction to demonstrate that this equation holds for the n plus first case. That is accomplished with another iteration of the fundamental theorem of calculus and integration by parts. So we can see that the integral of the n plus first derivative evaluated at t divided by n factorial times x minus t to the n is equal to the n plus first derivative of f evaluated at a divided by n plus 1 factorial times x minus a to the n plus 1 plus the integral from a to x of the n plus second derivative of f at t divided by n plus 1 factorial times x minus t to the n plus 1 dt.